Well, praise God, praise God, all you beautiful, beautiful people on Facebook and on YouTube. And I do mean beautiful, inside and out, because that's what we have to be, especially if we're going to be a Christian this morning. Well, God bless you all. Blessings to your family. Hope everyone is well. My heart go out for all the people that's going through stuff. And believe me, that is a major, major people. Everybody's going through something, and everybody need to be prayed for. So I'm praying for you so you can pray for me. Is that good news? That's good news. Well, we're going to talk about something that I have been on my spirit to do because I have so many people that's friends of mine that don't understand that when I need to consecrate myself or when I need to get into some solitude, and I think all of us need it sometime, whether you're married, husband and wife, husbands, you need to get with your guys sometime. Wives, you need to get with your girls and go get your hair, nails, feet done. Children need to spend time with what other people or spend time uh, alone. And we have to get to a point where you just got some me time just to let all everything go for a moment. And this is what time God is trying to let us know right now and that we need to be happy and having a good time and loving on family members, loving it on everybody. It's not about no politics, it's not about what color you are. It's about we all in a great fight right now. And we have to be prepared. And me as a pastor, if you've never been a pastor before, you really can't flow on what I'm saying because I've never been a doctor. So I have no idea what they do. I've never been a fireman or a police. So you can't not say what you know about a person when you never walked in their shoes. So as a pastor, I need to make sure that I get away, that I can pray. Because a lot of people is not praying until something happens. Oh, Pastor, would you pray for me? I got to get this done. Or, Pastor, would you get me, pray for me? My mama got the COVID. But, Pastor, will you pray? No, we, we need to all be praying right now. We need to all be praying and trying to change from our wicked and our violent ways. And all of this is going to help this thing turn around. So, our prayers go out to all the people that's going through something. I want to talk, uh, it comes out of the book of Luke. 4 1 and 2 and then it comes out of Luke 4 14 and 15 and how Jesus Christ himself had to get along because of the fact that it was just so much chaos so many people wanted him to heal so many people wanted him to do any things and he Jesus Christ himself had to take time to get along by himself so you know if he have to do it we have to do it so we can get re-strengthened let me read this in your hearing. It's Luke chapter 4, 1 through 2 and 14 through 15. After Jesus was baptized, he, sit, he spent 40 days praying in the wilderness. 40 days in the wilderness. After this, he was tempted by Satan and began his public ministry. Let's go a little deeper. To, to recharge, to recharge after hard work. It comes out of Mark chapter 6, verse 30 and 32. Jesus, meant, Jesus sent the disciples, 12 disciples, out to do ministry. And when they returned, he encouraged them to separate from people. Separate from people. Separate from people who were following them to rest. You have to rest because people just... Uh, and that's all they'll do is just keep on draining from you, never giving, just draining, taking away from you. To work through grief, Matthews 14, 1 and 13, after Jesus learned that his cousin John the Baptist had been beheaded, he went away by himself, went away by himself, yes, even the Son of God grief. So Jesus was a mere man like me and you, a flesh and blood. So he heard it. He had feelings. He had emotions, but he kept his ministry and he did not falter and he did not fail. Jesus kept his ministry straight, squeaky clean as much as he could, much as we know Jesus didn't do anything wrong. With us, it's a little different. We know we're going to make mistakes, but we have to give and forgive, forgive and forgive. And that's what we have to do as people. And a lot of us don't do that. So it's up to you to get away sometime, get by yourself, 
Get alone. Get some time with Jesus Christ so you can know where your strength and your power. And you get power when you get alone with him. See, I got power. Can't nothing hurt me. I am strong. God got me. I have to believe that. As a believing man of God, I have to believe that God got me. I'm not worried about what's going on in the world. I, I, I'm praying for the world. The Bible said that I'm in the world, but I'm not of this world. I'm going to a greater place when I leave here. Only thing I'm going to do is make this easy as possible because this ain't no work right here. We got everything in our lap. You can get two or three jobs right now. I was just watching a show on TV. Little six, seven, eight-year-old kids, millionaires. They, they, their, their business is, is prospering because they came up with an idea. And I'm trying to figure out what's wrong with you. You sitting there broke. Look in your pocket. Can you find 20 bucks? If you can't find 20 bucks and you over 30, there's something wrong with you. Go get a job or two or three jobs and make something happen. I watch these little babies. They're already entrepreneurs. They, they, they are, their mind is way out there. Nine years old. Start her little bow company. And they light up. The little bows light up. And I'm thinking, man, what is wrong with us? My God. So spend time alone. Get yourself together. Talk to yourself. And that is your bigger, biggest, biggest enemy. Half the time, you is your biggest enemy on all the mistakes you made and that made it wrong for you. And now you can't get up because you made your life that way. Get up, get them licensed, get your vehicle, get your life changed, and God will turn around and start blessing you when you get off of that slothfulness and get your life together, if that's make any sense. And learn to be alone until you get what you need to have. I love you all. Be blessed.